a gang sheet builder on alanaway.com. All right, so let's uh, just go into open up a new web browser and type in alanaway.com like we were just going into it. alanaway.com. So this is what it looks like when you first enter the website. All right, um, and you want to navigate to the gang sheet builder. So you can just go right up here where it says custom DTF, build your gang sheet. Just click on there and same thing like if you were on a phone same 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 uh, methods apply so you see all the different size gang sheets that I offer on the website and the prices right here so for example just for demonstration purposes we're gonna click on the small one 21.5 by 24 inch and then we're gonna buy, we're gonna click on build your gang sheet click on there and it's gonna open up the gang sheet builder it says welcome to the gang sheet um, well Welcome to build a gang sheet. Start a brand new gang sheet, open a previously ordered gang sheet, or auto build. All right, so you have those options. But I want to show you how, guys how to do it the manual way. All right, so we're just going to hit start a brand new gang sheet. All right, so now we have this page open with all this random stuff on here. What does all this mean? So I'm going to navigate through it. Okay, so first you want to pay attention to this area right here. Um, you want your images that you upload to be at least 300 DPI or better, all right? Um, 250 is okay, 1 DPI is bad resolution, and um, over here you got this color right here where it says overlapping image. So you, want, you don't want images on top of each other, and you also don't want bad resolution images. If you upload a bad resolution image, you can't expect to get a good resolution DTF, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to upload images, you're going to click on there, it's going to open up a screen and you're going to navigate to um, where your images are on your computers, okay, on your computer. So for demonstration purposes, let me just go ahead and find an image. Um, all right, I'm just going to open my Fourth of July folder and I'm going to select a few images that I have on alanaway.com right now that are 4th of July images. So as I open up these images, they're going to appear right here. All right. And when I click on the image, it's going to appear right here. Like for example, if I click right here, the image appears over here. And when it appears over here, I can go ahead and grab the side and I can scale it up, down, up, down. All right. So I can scale the image. And while I'm scaling the image, you can see the size appear right here. So for example, if I wanted an 11 inch gang, 11 inch image I would just type in 11 inches and that would make it 11 inches wide alright so in this case you probably want it to be 11 inches long so type in 11 inches and hit enter alright and then that makes it 11 inches alright see 11 by 1208 but let me see I'm just going to change that right there. Okay, so what you can do with the gang sheet builder is you can select the image that's already on the gang sheet. Let me just see, while something is selected, let me just delete it. I did that accidentally. So um, on the gang sheet builder, with the image that's selected, you can go ahead and duplicate the image if you like. And when it, when you duplicate the image, it spaces it out exactly how how much. Uh, according to how much space you have left on the gang sheet. So if I duplicate it again, I, could, I wouldn't be able to do that, all right? Because there's not much enough space left on the gang sheet to make another one. But what you can do is you can go ahead and um, scale this one down right here. You can scale this one down, right? Say if you wanted like one for left chest or something like that, you would go like, do something like four inches and I could put this over here. All right, or I can make it a little bit bigger if I wanted to. And then with this still selected, if I hit duplicate, it will put another one below, another one below, and another one over here. But let me go ahead and delete this one because I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to duplicate that and put another one below. All right, and you can also do the same. You can select this one. You can make it smaller again. And again, you can do the same thing with the duplicate. And it's going to put it in exactly you know wherever it can fit it all right so let's say for example you don't want you just want one of these 11 inch images and the rest of them you don't want you, you want a different image right so on the gang sheet builder I'm gonna just delete all those I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload images again 
all right and it's going to open up that window and i'm going to select a different image all right and that different image is going to load up right here now i have two images in my um standby area right so if i click on this image it's going to add it to the gang sheet but right now it's overlapping right it's overlapping so that's why you see that outline around the uh, around the image so now if I go and scale it down now it's not overlapping it says optimal resolution and the outline has changed all right so you got one image right here right and then you got another image right there so this one let's say I want two of these so I'm gonna duplicate that all right so I'm gonna put that right there put this right here cool I'm gonna bring in another image um, upload image I'm gonna grab this one right here open it's gonna go over to the standby area and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to bring it onto the canvas it's overlapping again so I'm just gonna scale it down and then I'm gonna move it around right here right and I don't think another one can fit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it but it's off, off the page, so I'm just gonna shrink it down. All right, and I'm gonna hit right here. So you, the thing is you have to select the right gang sheet for the number of prints that you want, all right, at the size that you want. So if you want like, you know, a, a whole bunch of 11 inch gang sheets, you wanna make sure you select 11 inch images, rather you wanna make sure you select the appropriate size gang sheet. All right, so now I'm gonna hit duplicate, 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 duplicate. Uh, and put one off the gang sheet so I'm going to delete that one so now you see I'm kind of taking advantage of the space on this gang sheet right here um, if I wanted to take advantage of it even more I can like put neck labels like in the in the, um, in the areas that's like not uh, not occupied like right here and right here right here you just import another image so if I go like upload image and just for hypothetical let's say this is a neck label I would hit OK import that it goes right over here again I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in I'm gonna scale that way down so it can fit somewhere right now it fits on the gang sheet now I'm taking advantage of all the space that I have left on my gang sheet if I had duplicate 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 it's just get going in wherever it can fit right so I can put I think I can put another one down here so if I had duplicate and duplicate again and you know so on and so forth all right so after you're done you just go ahead and hit save and add to cart and then you would check out and then you would check out and it's as simple as that building a gang sheet on alanawade.com I want to make this video because people it it seems like people don't know how to use a gang sheet builder um, um I had a client recently I had to uh redo his order because um we were doing it manually where we were communicating um via messaging and um and you know there was a few miscommunications so I want to make this video to make sure everybody knew no matter what your uh, skill level what uh, your skill level is in computer in computers then um you know how to use the gang sheet builder because right now um, I know you guys need to you know by any means necessary you guys need to fulfill your clients order so I thought I'd make this quick video because what's self-explanatory to some people might not be self-explanatory to another person and it's better it's always better to show somebody how to do something okay if you don't have any images and you just want to buy some stuff to press on to shirts i have plenty of uh dtf images on the website and you can just buy, buy in numbers of dtfs and pick whichever ones that you want on alanyway.com so i'm working on more stuff and i'll be rolling out um a holiday different holidays I'll have different holidays listings and you can uh, like click on holiday that is coming up and purchase the DTFs for those holidays so stay tuned for that guys and let me know how you feel about the DTF builder um, I think it's relatively simple let me know if you think it's simple in the comments down below thanks so much for watching and happy 4th of July guys I'll see you guys on the next video peace